is good Raider Nation is your boy Raider Alex back with you another video for you guys anybody that's new to the channel you guys love Raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel also make sure to hit that bell notification that way you get notified every time I post a video just like this one without further ado let's jump right into the topic of this video the Las Vegas Raiders dominated an offense in their first preseason matchup against the San Francisco 49ers scoring 34 total points and one of the players I mentioned in my video prior to the matchup to keep an eye out on was running back Zamir White. With the uncertainty on whether or not Josh Jacobs will be available week one this regular season, really this preseason is an enormous opportunity for Zamir White to shine and show this coaching staff that he's prepared to get a bigger role in this offense moving forward next year. The Raiders need to be prepared to, to have a plan B at the running back spot if Jacobs chooses to hold out during the regular season. So today I wanted to go ahead and analyze and break down the performance of Zamir White last week against the 49ers. Let's look at all of his carries, all of his reps. He definitely had some good and some bad. Without further do let's jump right into the tape the first play of the game and McDaniels I think here does a really good job drawing up this play and the O-line definitely does a great job opening up the holes the Raiders here are showing the 49ers that they're going to run to the left side of the formation the strong side you technically got six linemen here with Munford lining up as an extra lineman here on the left hand side you also got the fullback on that side and then you even have wide receiver Philip Dorsett who runs on a motion to the strong side of the formation so look everything pre-snap is showing the direction that the Raiders are going to run it to the strong side to the outside but the Raiders instead run a counter play with Zamir White and just look at the massive hole the O-line is able to create. Zeus here is able to get an easy six yards out of this. Here I think Zamir White could have done a better job following his lead fullback on this run. Really I think if he could have followed him there was a big enough hole to get a little bit more yardage out of this run but instead it looks like he slows down right behind number 65 and he eventually ends up running into Justin Heron our left tackle which completely slows him down and it essentially ends this run. His vision and the instincts as a runner could have been better right here. A good run here but we got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line once again just look at the massive hole they're able to generate up front for Zamir to run through. Here he gets stuck the line of scrimmage. Number 71, Justin Heron, loses his matchup on the edge and allows the 49ers player, which I believe that's Cleveland Farrell, it allows him the opportunity to get in the backfield and make the tackle. Good run here by Zamir, even though we just barely get this play off as number 88, I think that's Jacob Hollister, misses his block, which almost allows a sack on Aiden O'Connell before he even gets the ball off to Zeus, but luckily he just gets this off, handing it off to Zamir White, and who doesn't hesitate and immediately hits the hole. I really like Zamir White when he plays like this, when he just gets the ball and immediately tacks the line of scrimmage toss play right here to Zamir. He does a good job following his block and shows he has the speed to hit the edge but if that was Josh Jacobs out there I think he's making that safety miss that tackle and this is a touchdown but I mean overall good run. Goal line situation right here the O-line gets just enough push up front and Zamir has the speed and also the awareness to make the blitzing defender just miss the tackle which leads to a touchdown. Right here I think he makes the right read but there just wasn't any significant holes being created up front and overall it's a decent gain about 3 yards. Another minimal 2 yard gain from Zeus once again running a toss play. This play I think had the opportunity to get maybe a little bit more yards but it's difficult to say exactly what could have happened. Theoretically he made the right read following his blockers and if you can argue if Dylan Parham would have got out there in space and made his block then maybe this play would have been more successful but also if Zamir would have just cut this back it could have potentially gone for more yards but you know it's tough to say it can go either way. My point is this play had the potential to be bigger run than what we ultimately ended up getting. Now I really like this play right here. First you get the pump fake from O'Connell which forces the linebacker to slow down for just a split second and boom just an old fashioned run up the gut for a nice gain. Samir White follows his lead block very well here and he doesn't hesitate and hits the hole hard. This is really where he's at his best in my opinion. 
toss play here once again the blocking wasn't ideal but as an NFL running back you can't expect your O line to dominate on every single snap every single rep the opportunity was still here to potentially make a play on this play I would have liked Amir to just use his speed to get to the very edge and essentially just make this a one-on-one -on -one battle a one-on-one -on -one drill between him and number zero of the San Francisco 49ers and you know try to make him miss the tackle which so far after watching Zamir's tape it doesn't look like he's the best at doing this at making defenders miss and right here the last play of the day for Zamir White which is a fourth and one where the Raiders are showing running their pre-snap formation here I think Zamir White misreads this and takes the wrong hole he moves like the right hand side right towards like the only free rusher from the San Francisco 49ers and I think if he would have gone to the inside instead between number 85 and 61 I think he would have had a much much better chance to just get that one yard we really needed to extend this drive so overall Raider Nation it was a decent game for Zamir White he had some ups some good plays and he definitely had some questionable plays some downs and honestly I was expecting and hoping for a little bit more from Zamir White here I was hoping honestly for a dominant performance Zeus ran the rock for 13 carries and 43 yards and averaged about 3.3 yards per carry which look it's not terrible but it's also not great the main takeaways I took from this game is the fact that Zamir White still needs to improve his instincts and his vision when hitting the holes I would also like to see if he could show us some ability to make open field tacklers miss and extend runs he definitely looks pretty fast out there though and I think he excels when he doesn't hesitate and he just hits the hole hard as he does have a very fast initial burst to the line of scrimmage one thing that does seem apparent though is that he is no Josh Jacobs but if the Raiders have to depend on life next season without Josh Jacobs then I don't think Zamir White will be the prototypical bell cow running back I just don't see him being an effective running back who plays all three downs and is the ultimate workhorse running back like Josh Jacobs was Raiders in this scenario are gonna have to rely on production from Zeus and from other running backs on this roster and they're gonna have to go with whatever guy has the hot hand at the moment and I will say the Raiders do have a couple other interesting prospects at the running back position because we also had running back and UDFA signing in 2022 sincere McCormick go out there and he, he he played good as well he definitely showed some flashes out there McCormick definitely looked good and he's another guy to watch out for in this year's preseason as he may make a push if he can continue to perform in these next two games and let me know if you guys want a film study done on sincere McCormick as well but Raider Nation there you have it of Zamir White film study let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below that being said that's all for you guys in today's video anybody that's new make sure to like comment subscribe that being said i'll see you guys in the next one